Welcome back to our channel, and welcome to another video on Google Forms. In this video, we have brought you a tutorial on how to prevent duplicate responses in Google Forms. Let's get started with it. I have opened my already created Google Form. All the questions and answers are added here. Now, I'll go to the Settings option. Under the Responses settings, I'll enable the Limit to One Response option. Next, in the Question tab, you can add the email address question and add response validation to it. When I click on Response Validation, an extra option appears in the Question field. From there I can choose a validation response. In the video I selected text from the first drop-down, and then from the Contain drop-down I chose Email Validation. Then in the Custom Error Text area, I'll add a message that I want to be shown to the participants when they add the wrong email ID. The same process we can follow for other questions, as you can see in the video. Once settings are configured, preview the form. If the answer is wrong or not correctly added, an error text will be shown that is added by the user as response validation. The same happened here, I added an answer in the wrong format, so the error text was shown telling me to add a valid number. Once I've filled out the form and submitted the response, I cannot go back again to fill out another response as the option to show a link to another response is turned off. Besides, if I try to fill the form again, you've already responded confirmational message will be shown. Next, we can add add-ons in Google Forms, go to More Get Add-ons, and install Extended Forms app. Click on the puzzle icon Name Add-ons in Google Forms, go to Extend Add Forms, then configure to open up its settings. Connect the app with the form, and if you see an error, then click on Fix Settings. Now, you can prevent duplicate responses by opting for sharing the form through link with Email Required option. Then, I can also add number of restricted attempts. Save this settings, and preview the form. Once I've submitted the form, I will see the similar confirmation message as before without any link to go back to submit another response again. If you click on the response option from Extend Ed Forms settings, then it will lead you directly to the Extended Forms dashboard, and more specific to that Potential Forms Responses page where all the responses submitted will be shown, and other settings as well. This is how we can prevent duplicate responses in Google Forms. You can use Extend Ed Forms that not only helps you to prevent duplicate responses like default way, but also provide you with timer function, and more. Thank you for watching. Let us know your views on our video in the comments below.